Hey there folks. So a lot of people seem to be having some difficulty dealing with the new Malgu Kenki Trio. Uh, I personally cleared the Abyss with 36 stars recently and this is not the first time I've dealt with these Malgu Kenkis because the first time they were introduced was in the Vagabond event uh, a few months back I believe. Let's take a quick look at who the Magu Kenki Trio really are. The Magu Kenki Trio is essentially the Magu Kenki split into three different forms. The reason I say split is because they are individually weaker than the Magu Kenki himself. This is due to the fact that each one of them only possesses a part of Magu Kenki's power. The animal version, Lone Gale, only deals animal-based attacks, which is basically the wind blades that he throws using his katana. Whereas the cryo version only has one lethal attack, which is his massive AoE cryo attack. The third Magu Kenki, who has the shield, only performs two attacks which are done using the shield. Basically, the original Magu Kenki is capable of performing all of the attacks aforementioned. However, when we deal with the trios, the only use, they only use attacks specific to their type. Now let's talk about how we can deal with this, with this trio in the Abyss. But before going further, I'd like everyone to note that nuking these Magu Kenkis is actually much easier than the single Magu Kenki himself. This is simply because you can go and perform your full burst rotation to quickly finish them off Unlike the actual Magu Kenki, who has invincibility frames when his HP falls down to around 70%, making him much harder to nuke in a single attempt. That said, the best way to deal with the trio, in my opinion, is to nuke the cryo version of uh, the Magu Kenki, which is basically the uh, Galloping Frost. You need to nuke this guy ASAP because the cryo Magu Kenki has a massive AoE attack that can easily one-shot most characters and should be taken care of uh, before moving to the other Magu Kenkis. Of course, if you can nuke multiple Magus together, that will save time and help you clear much faster. But just make sure to, that you take out the cryo version first. It is also worth noting that at the start of this room, the animal version of Magu Kenki will always start off by using his wind blades, so you should always dodge them. And that's about it guys. I know it looks hard. I, I would say all in all it's harder uh, to deal with these Magus if you do not nuke them and you spend time trying to tank them because that is going to be much harder. Because despite the fact that all three of them don't have the full power of the single Magu Kenki, but it's harder to dodge their attacks because they're sometimes they're performing them simultaneously. However, if you go and just do a full nuke combo, you realize that it's not that hard to nuke them actually. I hope this will help you out in dealing with these Magu Kenkis, and if you like the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more similar content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Illusion shattered! Ow! Oh, everybody stand back! Fate is upon you! Strike! Storm the front! Now you shall perish! Teamwork is triple! Written in the stars! Quiver! Glory to the Shogun! Inazuma shines eternal! Kill! Ha!